Hey, what's up, soldiers? My name is Greg FPS, the Zombies Extraordinaire. Shadows of Evil, one of the best maps, if not the best map in Zombies history, and it released at the launch of Black Ops 3 in 2015, and six years have passed, so I figured it'd be fun to just play a public match and see how it goes. This is a Shadows of Evil public match in 2021. Any video with, like, dates and stuff is so cringe, but apparently people click on it, so, yeah. <laughs> The first game went just how you would expect it. Two level fives, level 21, and me rounded up to level 1000. At least it was before I reset my stats. I had enough time to get Sal's ticket, grab a gum, my teammate grab a nuke halfway through the round, and disconnected in a world record time of less than three minutes. At least this speed run wasn't scripted. After scouring the 28% of players playing in the Shadows playlist because they didn't buy the DLC, I found a game. This time with a level 10, a Prestige Master, and a 9th Prestige level 35. Kind of like me when I stopped at 9th Prestige in Modern Warfare 2 because I wasn't a hacker. I was expecting a repeat of the first game, but I was wrong and pleasantly surprised. During this game of Shadows, I have enough content to make a top 10 things public match players do. Actually, you know what? Let's just do it. The teammate who buys the first door so you act like you're a team player, but in all reality, it's the cheapest door on the map. The teammate using overpowered gobblegums to give you free perks because you ran classics and eventually will leave the game to save their gobblegums. The player waiting for people to actually contribute and just does everything themselves. The player who is impatient and causes teammates to not be able to help at all. The person who calls the tram to get the symbols, but the wall is already open to grab the egg. The teammate who nukes while you're filling up an egg. The person who builds the wonder weapon, but doesn't actually take it. The teammate who takes the wonder weapon and has an intimate teabagging session. and then leaves the game less than five minutes after. The teammate who camps until they run out of ammo and completely ditch the other player, causing them to go down. And last but not least, the teammate who does the cool shit. All right, so 90% of this stuff was me because I just did it. But other than that, like the other people I was playing with were actually not that bad. Or I should say person because the other two people left relatively early into the game. At first I was attempting to do the easter egg or at least try because I had the upgraded sword early but my teammates who actually got the base sword still didn't have it by like round 18 so that went out the window pretty quick and of course uh, the guy that did play till round 28 did end up getting the upgraded sword uh, but you gotta love four player easter eggs am I right? Like you literally couldn't do anything about that. But anyways guys, I decided that I wanted to add more to this video than just like a game. So what I decided to do, and I've seen a lot of people doing this in like Warzone and other Battle Royale games, is spectate other Zombies players. So I found a really low level player, went in their recent games through Black Ops 3, and I literally found a level 1 player playing Shadows of Evil. So let's check that out guys, I literally reacted to their game. And uh, yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> Let's check it out. I'm not gonna share what the person's name is, but oh, they knew the fumigator and 100 points. So that's pretty good, I guess. And they're going in beast mode. Oh no, they grabbed the, <laughs> they grabbed the drop, the insta kill. They probably watched a speedrunner do this, but it's really, really hard to do. You have to be like, Pixel perfect. Ain't ever gonna turn down the chance at a little kickback. Oh, you know what I mean? yikes. Shiva game. Oh, here we go. Beast mode again. <laughs> He's trying to shock the grapple thing. Jug's here. Right. He doesn't know how to shock. Oh, we missed the jump. <laughs> Ooh. Alright, he hit the box. He didn't, he didn't shock Jug at all. That's painful. Yikes. Anyone else dizzy coming back from that? I feel like I'm gonna puke. Wait, he did? What? I did not see him shock it. Holy shit. Oh, he got the Brecky. Not bad. I mean, it doesn't have attachments, but 
The other player already went down. The level five player went down. So the level one player is gonna revive him most likely. I don't know if that person's even playing. Maybe we should watch their perspective instead. So they started downing in like round four. So they're right here. Oh, the bad aim. Oh, the aim. Okay, I think the main problem is the sensitivity. Potentially. Just trying to shoot through impenetrable glass. Oh, two kills. Not bad. They're going to run out of ammo, I bet. Or this guy. Oh, nope. <laughs> guys, this is super painful to watch. All right, guys, I can't take this anymore. We're going to cut the video here. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know which map you want to see next down below in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.